Okay, so now you textured the whole body, we'll need to um, get this glass uh, clear. Uh, so uh, go to the um, CTSAS folder and just drag this into the material editor. Um, so now we'll have to just select these uh, these holes in the mask. So to do that, just go on the whites here and go to the modifier lists and click edit mesh. Okay, so we'll choose um, yeah, we'll choose polygon because it's smaller and just select just click and press hold control at the same time and just select the whole glass do it on both sides okay so now we've done that we've selected that press right click um, and then detach here and call this uh, glass okay uh, yeah so now you can <coughs> you can just select this glass see uh, just so it doesn't affect the whole body oh the the arrows up there uh, if you want to modify that, actually we should do that. Um, just go to Hierarchy here and Effect Pivot, Center to Objects. Now the mesh is just uh, centered and you don't have to mess about it and find the arrows. And now it's just centered and you can move it like that. Oh, I didn't know he had eyes, that guy. I never saw him without glasses. So, uh, anyways, I'll stop doing uh, silly jokes. Um, just, uh, just add, uh, dr yeah, drag the uh, material, uh, the glass material onto the glasses. Oh, there's one part missing a tree. Well, let's do, let's do it quickly. Edit mesh. Detach. Glass one. And drag it to glass one there. Okay, so now you have the complete uh, texture on the body. Just, just checking if, uh, yeah. See the glasses uh, stay, stay uh, on the place. You know they don't follow the body. That's what I was worried about. But that's easy. No worries. We'll fix that. Um, so click on that glass on the glass. Um, I've done a bit of a mess actually here because I didn't do it completely and had to detach the old part so I have two glasses but I think you'll do it pretty um, pretty much better than me. Um, so we're going to link this glass to the body or to the bone actually because we're going to use the bone all, all the time. Okay, so the glass has to follow, uh, let's see, has to follow this bone. There you go. Now if you click on the bone and move it, oops, there you go, glass stays because it's linked to the bone, so it will follow the bone's movement. Okay, so uh, I'm in the mesh editor. Don't go in the mesh editor. 
freeze it. Okay, uh, now we've got the texture, we'll um, import the the gun. Um, so go to import, merge, and go to the weapons file. I also put the uh, link in the description with all the folders um, in the... Yeah, the weapons are all in the folder. So just choose uh, whatever gun you like. I'll choose the... Uh, Mm, AWP. Yeah, it's a good gun. Okay, so scale back. Uh, there's your gun. It's very small, but uh, that's normal because it always, when you import the object, it always goes in the viewport origin, which is here, and our map is just above. So we will have to move this around, but won't take long okay so now we have the AWP here uh, rotate it 90 degrees of course E make sure the angle snap toggle is on and put it 90 degrees there you go now just place the weapon uh, like w where the where you're supposed to like hold it, you know. Um, let's put it here. Okay, let's say yeah, let's say here is good. Uh, now just press on the bones and move the arm and try to make this as realistic as possible I'm, I'm going to make this quite fast you know it's just to give you an idea um, on how to move the arms and stuff Okay, so um, so now you have this animated. Well, it's not animated yet, but you have the position. So once you have the position, um, let's tilt the head a bit. Let's spread the legs. Okay, uh, this doesn't look that real but uh, you know cares it's just to show you um, yeah so now uh, press press F9 to have a quick render to see what it looks like okay it looks a bit um, you know fancy with that position but uh, you can take all your time to move this um, so yeah I I render this in mental way so yeah go here in the render setup and scroll down assign render and you can choose uh, either between default scanline or mental way uh, there's also V-Way, but uh, I think that's for the uh, for the you guys that know how to use uh, 3D Max and stuff. It's a plugin. Um, for those who begin, just don't don't bother with this. It's uh, it doesn't matter. Just choose Mental Way. It's uh, it's pretty good and uh, takes a bit of time, but uh, it's a pretty good um, render engine. Um, so now uh, this scene is a bit dark we saw that in the window it was a bit dark uh, so we'll add some light so go here lights and go to standard and just choose a omni light and click just click anywhere you want 
Don't worry, it's all dark, that's normal because it goes always under here, as I told you previously. Just move it. Okay, so place it, I don't know, let's place one here. Hold shift and drag here. Copy. Um, let's place another one here. Okay, uh, click on the l one of these lights. Uh, I'll choose that one. Go to modify and add shadows. Shadows are very, very important and make the thing, the 3D look uh, very realistic. Uh, so just add a shadow. Um, so you can either add, uh, if you use mental ray, just add a mental ray shadow map. So we'll see what that looks like. Have a close view. Press F9. Okay, so you can see the shadow is here. It's pretty realistic. It's not too dense. Just what we need. Um, you can also use the area shadow to have a very sharp shadow, but I, I prefer the mental ray shadow map because it's just gives it more realism. Uh, so now we have the lights. Um, I think we basically finished actually. Uh, oh no, 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 we're not. Uh, if you press F9, wait, yeah, you get a black sky here. Um, that's normal, it's by default. It's uh, you always get a black sky. Um, so we'll change that. Okay, so let's change the the sky, the black sky. Uh, go to rendering, environments, and there you go, background. Let's change it to let's say a dark, uh, a dark blue. Don't want dark blue, a light blue. Uh, that should be alright. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty blue actually. Uh, maybe we can change that. Um, you can also add a background map. Um, so I think I've got a, some some sky in my pictures. So if you want to do that, uh, go to click here, bitmap and go to my pictures or your pictures mine are confidential actually there cloud just double click there you go let's see what that looks like Yeah, you have the cloud. Uh, it's it's not it's a small file, so it looks very ugly. But if you get a nice uh, HD uh, cloud picture, y you can make it look very nice. Um, so I think we're done here about um, about everything. Got the light, got the weapon, got the textures, got the background.